Mr. Excel Podcast is sponsored by Easy Excel. Learn Excel from Mr. Excel Podcast, episode 1503, Excel as a Data Entry Form. Well, hey everyone, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jell and today's question actually is based on a discussion out at the LinkedIn Excel Gurus group. Uh, someone, uh, Oz, had asked about getting Excel to act like a database with a user form. So, pretty clever, he wanted to have a nice little Excel uh, data entry form like this one, you know, so maybe, uh, you know, I publish books, this is a new title planning form and you can, you can picture this, you would use Excel to have various fields where people enter data, uh, you could even have data validation, you know, that would pop up uh, in various places or maybe formulas to uh, calculate some fields and then you want to be able to post this data to a database, so I'm going back here to the, the second worksheet, the database and we want to just find the next row and then, uh, you know, copy that data over and possibly even uh, clear out the data for the the next records so that we can go back through and enter things. So, let's switch over to VBA, the system VBA, the system VBA that I uh, uh, posted in that message board. So, we have two worksheets, the worksheet, uh, the form worksheet and the database worksheet. And, you know, we are going to assume that when they run this, they're sitting on the form worksheet. So, the first thing I want to do is figure out where the next row is. And this is, you know, that famous bit of code that I use in almost all of my macros. Go back to uh, the database worksheet, start from the very bottom, rows.count, that's 1048576 if you're in the new Excel or 65536 if you're in compatibility mode, uh, column 1 press the end key, the up arrow key and see what row you're at plus one. So, this is going to figure out where the next record is going to go and you know then from there I have nine fields that I want to write. So, we're writing to the next row and the values are coming from uh, and this is just the tedious part. They're coming from D13, D14, D23 you know, and you're going to do a lot of switching back and forth between Excel to figure out you know where the next value comes from and in my particular case they're not even quite in order D14 then D23 because I was trying to match it to the database. So, the database you know has fields in this order but I wanted people to enter data in some other order. So, uh, you have to just you know a little bit of, of careful checking to make sure that you have everything right and then uh, clear out all of the cells that we were ready for the next record. So, this is called move record in order to uh, uh, have this post we could either use a forms control or if you don't have the developer tab, uh, it's simple enough just to add some sort of a shape. So, maybe we can uh, let's come up with an arrow here, we'll just add a little arrow and text box say post record and we can center that. There we go. Now, to make that uh, run the macro, right click assign macro and say move record, click OK. All right, so let's do a little test here. Uh, we've entered this data, click post record. All right, and that record is now written to the next row in the database. We're ready to roll again. So, just a, a simple little data entry form and it's so much better looking than the old Alt D O uh, database you know, form that we used to have from Excel 2003. I don't even think you could find this in the ribbon anymore. It was just such a miserable uh, little record uh, thing. So, you know, this way you get to add some formulas, get to add some validation, uh, create a better looking form and then, um, you know, allow people to post that record to the database. Now, tomorrow we're going to come back and take a look at a better way, uh, some improvements uh, to this method. Okay, well, hey, I want to thank you for stopping by. See you next time for another day.